So now let's talk about validation, one of the other four core needs. I got so much validation for not only people recognizing the pain that I'd been through with this and the frustration and the, just the horror of having your personal property attacked like that so viciously in broad daylight with such calculation and intent. This wasn't somebody walked past my car and oops, keyed it. This was malicious and um, really like a stalking kind of experience. And getting that kind of validation from people that, wow, you must be so upset and yet not internalizing, staying in my bubble, right? Talk about the bubble that you got to stay in to kind of keep the crazy out. And staying in my bubble really helped me to not only feel validated for the experience itself and the pain I went through initially, but also validated for what that meant for me in putting a positive on this and making a growth experience, doing these videos, you know, sharing the experience with people, bumping into random people in parking lots who couldn't believe the look of my car because I'm still driving it around town because as one of my friends said, it's not my shame, it's theirs. But just doing that was so validating to see that I was really making a difference in how other people were seeing an example for how they could deal with some of that stress and drama and isolation that we all feel. And hey, that's in power play. That was a little power play reference for you. So we got some feed the need. We got some power play references. And um, I'll see you uh, next time for the next installment. Thanks for watching. I know you're curious what I'm going to say next, aren't you? All right. Talk to you soon. Bye.